Hey, what's up guys? So today I want to talk about AM, Aviation Mechanic Rate in the Navy. That was my previous rate before I crossed to PS. I was an AM for three and a half years from 2015 December to 2018 August. So about the AM rate, my first 3.5 years in the Navy as an AM, it honestly didn't go fast at all. So I went to the MEPS and the only rate that they offered me at the time, according to my score, of the ASVAB was AM. At that time, like I didn't know too much about the different rates in the Navy and I just thought it was cool. They told me that it was aviation mechanics, so you basically work on aircrafts, you can work on jets, you can work on helicopters, you can go all over the world. And I didn't really know how the working environment was or how, what skills would benefit you if you had or what kind of personality you had that would best match this rate. And without knowing that, um, I went to boot camp, um, you know, basic training for everyone. And then I went to A school in Pensacola, Florida, where I learned the basic skills of an aviation mechanic. Things like how to use tools, things about different aircrafts, things about hydraulics. Those basic knowledge that really doesn't pertain to specific aircrafts, but in general. So that's what I studied and learned in Pensacola. And then there was weekly exams, written exams. Also, there was a project. You would have to make an aluminum tin can out of like a piece of a sheet metal. It was hard for me, but there were some people that had a lot of experience of using tools and, you know, dealing with those metal sheets and they did really well. But, you know, I kind of got a feeling I'm starting then that it wasn't really my thing. I went through A school. I got to C school in San Diego, California where I learned more skills pertaining to the aircraft that I was going to go work on. So my squadron is all about H-60 Romeos, which is a Seahawk helicopter. Its primary mission is to, you know, detect submarines and search and rescue. So yeah, I got to install and remove uh, major components in that aircraft, of course, hands-on skills. So that was the four weeks of sea school, and then I was sent to my squadron to actually work as an AM. Yeah, where, uh, you know, the fast pace, the main control, barking down on the shops, AM shops, AD shops, all the different aviation shops that we have. But AMs, we have the most work. We have, we cover the most parts of the aircraft. So of course, like corrosion, blades, wheels, tires, hydraulics, anything like hardware wise, that's all us. So whenever there's a major issue, minor issue, moderate issue, whatever, they would call on our shop and, you know, go troubleshoot this, go troubleshoot that, go fix this, go wipe this, you know. So it was get, getting paid the same, but having a lot of work was very frustrating. And because at the end of the day, I'm exhausted and I'm seeing other um, rates like ATs, AEs, in my personal opinion, they had it more easy going. So long story short, I didn't really like it and then I decided to cross street. But anyways, some tips I wanted to share that I wish I knew before um, you know, joining the Navy and picking an AM rate was that I wish I knew how the daily normal schedule was like. And also, I wish I knew how I had the choice to reject the rate if I didn't want that rate, you know, because it's so hard to change to cross rate once you pick a rate in the Navy. So it's easier to reject or push back the rate that you don't want in the MEPS and wait for a better rate or the rate you want to open up and then pick that rate. And then the last one was that I wish I got to see more videos of how and what AMs perform their duties at work. You know, just reading the description, the job description and just listening to, uh, you know, those sugar-coated things about the rate just to sell me signing the contract. It's all about sales. So. I wish I had a mentor or some network of people who already joined, who are on the long sides of me. I didn't really communicate with a lot of people, but so that's my tip. Basically, just try to do a lot of research and ask a lot of questions, not only to recruiters, not only to the people at the maps, but people, you know, around you or friends or families, you know, or YouTube is a great, you know, resource these days. So yeah, that's my spell or the intro to the AM rate in this video. One more thing before I close out this video, I wanted to add overall, uh, if you like to do a physical job and if you think you have thick skin, if you have experience doing maintenance, it, whether it's cars or aircrafts, whatever, or you like using tools, I think those three criteria, if you have those things, I think you'll be a great fit to be an AM, but otherwise, I wouldn't pick it again, in my personal opinion. 
But thanks guys for uh, watching this video again and if you have any more questions or comments just put it down below in my video and I'll try my best to make more videos like this. So thanks again guys, see you next time.